Hey guys, so I'm in front of my TV right now and I want to stream a video of my choice from the Mismo media server and here's what I've got um, I've got some folders here arranged um, movies, series you name it. <laughs> so I have already turned on the media server. As you can see, there is a stop media server button right there. If I would like to stop it, but I do not. So here on my, on my TV, there. I uh, just focus, focus. Okay. I will select to use. Small. and the folders I arrange there will appear. Um, the latest version of Mesmo actually has a very nice uh, sorting because you can sort your files by different parameters. So, as you can see hopefully you will see okay focus 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 uh, I will select folders here then series and then I will try and find oh I missed that something uh, okay so here it is series series so this is the test file I'm going to use so this is a series which I will play now seamlessly it has subtitles everything is alright patterns are hidden in plain sight you just have to know where to look so what I'm trying to say here is that working with Mismo really is not hard while I had experience with some other DLNA servers like the one of Windows Media Player and the problem there is that first it does not show the MKV files like this one uh, hopefully you will see the MKV come on focus 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 okay so MKV file all of them are MKV files as you can see in that folder which I just played from and here is the exact file which I played with the subtitle so uh, I will show you now what happens when I actually use another TLNA server so let me just browse uh, I need to select another source here are the sources here is Windows Media Player's DLNA server uh, oops so I need to select it and I did um, here are all videos as you can see uh, they are not sorted in by date so I cannot easily watch the latest movie I downloaded um, okay so here is L so it's empty oh what happened I don't know hmm. I don't know there's nothing in it so that's the same folder you know and there's absolutely nothing in it MKV files are not recognized and there's nothing I can do about it actually there is something I could go and rename the MKV file to AVI um, I'll show you that now just focus 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 here it is the file so I'm going to rename it and it will appear oh yes it will appear 
and you'll see that touch.srt file there. So they are named exactly the same. So there shouldn't be any problems. But let's see. I will re reload the, the folder. Okay, here it is. No thumbnails, no nothing. But let's leave with that. Oh, not supported file format. What happened? I can see it, but I cannot play it. Oh, come on. Well, you can see that Mismo did not have any problems showing the video files and playing the video files and the subtitles and so on so that's why that's why I really like Mismo because it's convenient I can use it all the time I can play as you can see 720p I've used it for 1080p as well uh, I can show you and there is absolutely no problem with the streaming it plays beautifully oh, I've got a little problem with the remote control <laughs> so here it is oh come on select folders go to series I would really like my phone to have better focus but So here it is, uh, latest Game of Thrones video, 1080i, so I'm going to play it. No problems. Oh, and the subtitles. Huh. Sir Barristan Self, it is time to put aside your sword. You're too old to protect them. Actually, the phone may be, um, you know, ruining things for you in the HD compartment because you cannot actually see what I see, but it's really good. So. That's Mismo people, I really like it and I'm glad that I found it because I had real troubles uh, playing videos with other DLNA servers uh, like the one of Windows Media Player and I could not even see some of the videos, you know, MKV files and I, I could not <clears throat> load a subtitle either, so Mismo is convenient. <laughs> okay, bye. Hopefully you understand why Mismo is my favorite DLNA service.